after the events of Infinity War and Justice League, it's pretty clear that Thor and Superman are currently the strongest characters in their respective cinematic universes. They've been pitted against one another in ultimate battles before, but how does this decades-old rivalry fare on the silver screen? Both characters have received power upgrades throughout their film series, and in total there are six versions between them. Depowered Thor, God of Hammers Thor, Awakened Thor, Stormbreaker or Full Power Thor, Base Superman, and Motherbox Amp Superman. Superman is the limiting reactant here with two power levels. One his normal maximum, while one is where he's amped by an outside force. Since two of Thor's forms, Depowered and Mjolnir, both represent his true power being significantly restricted, I'll throw those out so that we have two versus two. So round one, Awakened Thor, which is really his base, versus Kryptonian warrior Superman. This is Thor from the events of Ragnarok up until he wields Stormbreaker in Infinity War, and he has some of the best calculated energy feats in the MCU. While battling Hela on Asgard, he generates a massive lightning storm in under a second that was calculated to produce over 9 gigatons of energy, which is enough to destroy an island larger than Cuba. All of the feats in this video have links in the description, by the way. He overpowered Hulk pretty easily after Awakening, and he fought on par with Hela, who has the small country-level feat of shattering Mjolnir in her bare hands. Thor has massively hypersonic plus attack speed with his lightning, and he heals every time he uses his powers as seen in Ragnarok. But what really makes him impressive is his feat in Infinity War of tanking the energy of a neutron star for two minutes straight. That's 400 teratons of energy per second. That's enough to destroy a large country per second. Now, Superman may not have the same direct feat support that Thor does, but he does have really impressive power skill. He's stronger than full power Wonder Woman, who's on par with Zeus, who created the island of Themyscira with his dying breath. Superman survives while weakened by kryptonite, a gigantic multi-megaton nuke capable of destroying a small mountain. He also has massively hypersonic plus combat speed matching Thor's, and unlike Thor, he has true flight, which makes him more maneuverable. It can be argued that Thor's ability to basically spam lightning and turn the battlefield into lightning would neutralize that, but, you know, still. He does have one highly impressive off-screen feat, uh, discussed in Batman vs. Superman. He moves an unidentified tectonic plate to prevent a... Devastating Earthquake. It was really vague as in a newspaper clipping, but Matthew Schroeder performed a reasonable guess calculation that puts it at low country level. At least for these two versions, it seems that Thor should pull off the victory. His healing factor and versatility of lightning are crucial factors. His speed is comparable to Superman's, and his best feat is 38 times stronger, which places him leaps and bounds above his DC counterpart. Enter Justice League. Superman is dead. Batman is sad. Wonder Woman is the only decent part of the movie, uh, and along came the mother box, and poof, Superman, he's alive, guys, he's resurrected, and overpowered as all get out. Now he's way faster than before and able to tie with the Flash, who can move at sub-relativistic speeds at his maximum, where he you know, does the whole time thing, rotten tomatoes, Bruce, rotten tomatoes everywhere. Uh, Superman easily overpowered the other members of the Justice League, and withstood mother box energy, which is capable of terraforming the surface of the planet. That is quite directly multi-continent level durability, with a speed far higher than Awakened Thor's. But he ain't fighting Awakened Thor. He's going up against the God of Thunder as Odin intended him to be, wielding Stormbreaker. Every ability previously displayed by this guy multiplies by a thousand with this weapon. He can fully channel his innate abilities now. He can, he can truly fly, rather than just ride me on air. He's so insanely strong that he can overpower a blast from six Infinity Stones at once with the gauntlet and mortally wound Thanos. Like, it's, it's not even close. Thor is so much more powerful than complete Infinity Gauntlet Thanos at this point. It's not, it's, like, it's not even funny. For reference, the Power Stone alone has the large planet level feat of, of ripping an army of meteors from a moon that's, you know, thousands, millions of miles away and bringing them to the Earth's surface in seconds. And Thor no-sold a blast from six Infinity Stones! Superman likely is faster. And, oh, yeah, and Thor can now control the Bifrost, so he can pretty much teleport anywhere in the universe he wants, uh, whenever he wants. But, I mean, I don't see how that could possibly be relevant. But Thor is so many tens of thousands, like, as far as the feet energy goes, like, Thor is literally 91,000 times stronger than Justice League Superman. It, he's so much stronger that Superman's attacks wouldn't register. It would be like a flea trying to knock down the Statue of Liberty, and ultimately would result in a victory for the Odins.